Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, how are you? Pretty good, thank you. How was what your day? I'm great, thanks for asking. And how was your day? Um, the same <laughs> la, <laughs> than yesterday, <laughs> pretty busy. Uh, I didn't finish the new reports, but I hope I can finish maybe tomorrow or Friday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope you can do it. But it's glad to see you here. Thank you for being here. I know that it's not easy, guys, but thanks for the effort. Okay. Let's see who else is there. I can see Cifrido. Hello, Cifrido. How are you? Hello, teacher. Uh, all good. It was a long day. Definitely a long day, but I'm fine. <laughs> okay. Pretty tired, but, but I'm fine. I imagine. We are in the middle of the week, guys. So I know that it's been a very difficult week for some of you. So thanks for the effort. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much for being on time. That's the attitude. Who else? I can see Kevin. Hello, Kevin. How are you? Hello. Um, I'm really good, I think. Um, one question. Yeah. Uh, do you see me um, sideways <laughs> or not? You are. <laughs> yes. um, okay, I don't know why my camera is like that. <laughs> I use using my tablet like every day, so I don't know why it's, it's like that. <laughs> the, the tablet is tired too. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she wants to, it wants to sleep. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right, but it looks pretty cool. So yeah, no worries. We are going to, to move our head to look at you. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. Okay. <laughs> well, welcome to the class, Kevin. Welcome to the class, everyone. Thank you so much for being on time. Thank you so much, the ones who has the camera on. As I mentioned, we are in the middle of the week. All right. And today, guys, basically, um, we are going to be starting the unit number two. Okay, so basically we are going to finish the unit number one and we are starting the unit number two. So um, there we have been studying different topics in the unit number one. So today is like the last practice. And then tomorrow, that is Thursday, we are starting the topics for the unit number two. That means that if we start the unit number two tomorrow on the platform, what is the unit that you need to start working? Uh -huh. Unit two. Correct. So at this point, guys, remember that we started on Wednesday, so basically today we are finishing, we can say our first week. So right now you have to finish or basically the unit number one has to be completely done. But let's verify if it is like that. Look at this. I'm going to share with you the platform to show you how it looks like. All right, so today the platform unit number one, as I mentioned, has to be done, all right? The, remember that the minimum score for each unit is 80%. So look at this. Hey, Amanda, Lorena, Boris, Carlos Ernesto, they has the required, look at this one, the required a percentage. Carlos Mauricio, 100% too. Edwin has 80%. I have Eulise with 52%. Be careful. I have Salvador, is good. Postman, it's 80, so it has the minimum. 
Kevin is good. Mm, Osman with 40, a little bit low. Then I have uh, Pamela with 80, the minimum. Uh, Ricardo Ernesto with 40, that's pretty low. Cifrido with the minimum, 80%. And Wilbur, that is basically over, finished the unit number one. So I can see, guys, a lot of people with zero, okay? Look, I have a lot of people with a zero. So that is not possible, guys, okay? I already updated your scores. And the score that you have right now is the score that I'm going to send today after the class. So I can see a lot of people with zero. So that is not acceptable. Remember, tomorrow we are start the unit number two. That means that for tomorrow, you need to start working on the unit number two, okay? So please, everybody, try to start working on it. Uh, try to advance. I know that some of you don't have time and it's difficult to have a lot of things to do. And I totally understand, believe me, but it is necessary to work on the platform, okay? Is it clear about the platform? Yes, yeah, it's clear. Pretty good. So please, let's start working on it. Don't wait, just try to do it. Now, remember guys, if you are going to be listener, don't forget to write the word listener on your name. If you are not listener, don't write the word listener, please. And remember to keep the camera on. With the camera on, you prove that you are here. With the camera on, remember guys, it's part of the rules. So remember that the class is being recorded. People from Insaform, they verify the classes. They can watch the videos of the class. So they can verify the ones who has the camera on, the ones who don't. They can see the ones who participate, the ones who don't, okay? So try to follow the rules so you don't have any inconvenience at the end of the course. All right. Do you have any questions, everybody, about the course, about the platform? Anything? No questions? All right. Do you remember the topic that we studied yesterday, everyone? Uh -huh. Report tips, successful online business. That's the one. Excellent. So we are going to continue practicing that topic, okay? But uh, I can see, guys, that you are a little stressed. Do you feel stressed out? <laughs> yes? Mm. All right. Hey, Kevin, now you look normal. <laughs> I mean, the, the screen looks normal again. Uh, we cannot hear you. I reboot my tablet. Ah, that, okay. That fix it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pretty good. Okay, guys. Um, I want to start the class with a dynamic. Okay, and let me see how many girls do I have. I have Evelyn. I have Andrea, and that's it. I don't know if Amanda is going to be a listener tonight. Uh, yes, teacher. Okay. I'm. I'm still sick. So oh. <laughs> it's all right, no worries. I'm here. <laughs> all right, perfect. She, she was working with uh, his co worker. <laughs> really? <laughs> all right. So, yeah, it was Evelyn, the responsible. <laughs> Evelyn was um, enferma. Sick. Sick. <laughs> And now is and now is Amanda. Oh my goodness! All right, but I hope that you get better soon, Amanda. So try to drink or, or take the medicine, please, and try to recover soon. Thank you, teacher. Very good. Okay, everybody, we are going to start with a dynamic so you can wake up. 
I'm going to see how fast you can think. I was planning to do this activity in teams, but considering that we are few, let's do it. Um, eh, let's do it individually. Okay. This is. Uh, I'm going to share the game, but please try to participate. Let's see how many points you can do. Okay. Um, I'm trying to share. Let's see. Okay, can you see the presentation, everyone? Yes. 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 Excellent. Okay, so today is August sixteenth. Let's start with this dynamic. Is four pics, one word. I'm going to show you four pictures, and those pictures have something in common. And you have to find out what the word is. Um, I'm going to start with the easy level. If you feel that it's too easy, we can go to the most difficult level, okay? So um, give me a number. Which Four. number? Which one? Four. Four. Okay, everybody can answer, okay? Here is the one that answer faster. Look at this one. Look at the picture. The word has four letters and these are the letters that you can use. Of course, the word is in English. So what do you think? What is the word? Born. Which one? Born. Okay. Born, that's the one, pretty good. So look, all of these pictures represent born. Nice, very good. So, Sefrido, <laughs> you have one point. Okay, I'm going to write it here. So, remember, Sefrido, you are team one, okay? I'm going to be giving you points, everyone, to the ones that answers. A volunteer, give me another, another number. Five. Eight. Okay, I listened first five. Hmm, three letters. What is the word? Uh -huh, everyone. Do you want to okay. participate? Everybody can participate, of course. I am so sorry, but this is it <laughs> party? How many how many letters? Only three. Ah, three. Oh, only three. Yes, only three letters. You can only use the letters that are here in the box. Do you want a clue? Yes. Okay. This is a style of music. Pop. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, that, that makes sense. The volumes pop, uh, the soda pop, and <laughs> the pop music. <laughs> yeah, and when you opened uh, the champagne bottle, it, says, or the it sounds wine, like pop. Uh -huh. Exactly, yeah. that's the one. Okay, so points for Kevin. Kevin, you will be team two, so remember it. Okay, another number, everyone. Three. Three. Okay. Ah, this one is easy. What do you think? Net. Net? Net. 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 Carlos, right? Yes. Pretty good. Excellent. Okay, everybody, participate. Let's do it. Another number, please. Hey. Okay, I heard eight and then seven. This one has four letters. Wave. Which one? Wave. Wave. Let's see. That is the one. Sifrida, right? I think you were team one, if I'm not wrong. Okay, I listened to the number seven. Mm-hmm. Three letters. 
Um, let's see. He, but I don't know who said that first. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, okay. I don't know. Kevin, you were team the two, two or team three? Two. Oh. Well, now you are three, okay? Because okay. I cannot delete points. I'm sorry. Okay, give me a number, everyone. One. Two. One. I want to listen to everyone, to the girls too, please. Box. 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 <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, oh. That was easy. I don't know who was the first one. Uh huh. Who was the first one? Me, teacher, I want... Kevin. <laughs> he wants the point. Sure. Okay, Kevin, you are team four. Okay, two or six? Six. Okay. Draw. Draw. Mm. Draw, my gosh. Who said that? Uh, Carlos. Carlos. Uh, team Carlos. two now. Team two. Okay, pretty good. All right. So look at this one. I have a tie between team one, that it was Cifrido, I guess. Team two, Carlos. Team three, Kevin, Kevin. Alexander, Kevin. I guess. <laughs> yeah, right? Yes. And team four with one point is Kevin Alfredo, but... Guys, everybody can guess, no problem at all. Okay, what's this? Full. Full. Feel. Okay, let's try with full first. Feel. Mm -mm. Feel. 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 Who said feel? Me. Carlos Ernesto. Uh, do you have a team? Team three. Team three. No, team three oh, was Kevin. Three, yes, but anyway, three points. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody <All right>. <laughs> Everybody is a winner. Easy or difficult? Mm, so. <laughs> 50 50. Do you want to try the difficult level? Yes. This was the easy, all right? This was like the easiest one, but I have three levels. You can try with the medium or with the hard one. Which one do you prefer? Medium first. Medium? medium? Yes. Okay. Remember that the idea, guys, is to think fast, okay? The idea is to try to recognize different pictures and try to find out the words. Okay. But everybody try, please. Give me a number. Six. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Four Chip. letters. Which one? Chip. I cannot hear you very well. Can you repeat? Chip. Oh, cheap. Let's see. Chip. Who said that? Alexis? See, were you? Yes. Was. All right. Alexis, you are team one. Remember it. <laughs> okay. Very good job. Next number, please. Seven. Seven. Okay. But. 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 Okay. <laughs> Definitely. That is the one. Who said that? Kevin. Kevin, team two, okay? Remember it. Okay. <laughs> Next number. Five. Five, okay. Oscar. <laughs> Oscar, we don't have a letter S. So, mm -mm. Uh, uh, uh. Jack Sparrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, it's only five letters. Actor. Okay, let's see. Actor, that's the one. Who said that? Kevin. Kevin, team two, right? Yes. All right. Let's imagine, guys, that the winner 
it's going to get a price. Of course, one hundred dollar completely cash. Okay. So, give me another number. Oh. Four. Okay. Bark. Let's see. Bark. Nice job. Who said that? Um. Me, Sigfrida. All right. So you will be team three, okay? Next number, please. Eight. Two. Okay, I listen eight first and then two. Mm -hmm. One. Bell. <laughs> okay. Bell. But I don't know who said that first. I listened like two people. Who said that? I said, uh, I said safe, but I was wrong. Yeah. Okay. Don't fight. Give me to me the, the, the point. <laughs> okay. Give me names. If not, I'm not going to give you points. Who wants the point? Okay, let's imagine that it's a tie. <laughs> okay, two, look at this one. This one is, ah, look at this one. This is interesting. What is the number here? Mm, card. Card? Cool. Card. Okay, card. let's just start. Well, let's try with card. Uh huh. T. S. T or S? T. T. Yes, pretty good job. So imagine, guys, when you go to the supermarket, the name of the object that you use to put your product and to carry the product is a card. Okay? Uh, Kevin, right? Yeah, team two. Team two. Okay, one or three? Everyone? Three. One. Okay. I, I listen first three. Go ahead. Easy. What? No cards. <laughs> okay. Spell it. A C E. Easy, right? So remember that that is the name that receives these kind of cards, right? Or when you are something really good in something, we say as could. The last one. That was easy. Easy, easy. Pizza. <laughs> mm, no, it is not pizza. Italy. Yes. Italy. Very good job. Who said that? Who said Italy? Andrea. Okay. Andrea. All right. Look at this one, guys. Uh well, I can see Kevin has more points. So Kevin, you will get a hundred dollars. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. you just you just need to call your your manager. He is going to give it to you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> pretty good. Yeah. All right. So the idea for that game is to wake you up. Okay, so try to think fast, guys. That's the idea. Okay. Before continue, I'm going to check attendance. When you listen to your names, say present. Amanda Zamora. Hi, I, uh, yeah, she's a listener, sorry. Ana Lorena. Okay, uh, Boris Alexander. Present. Very good. Carlos Alberto. Carlos Alberto. All right, Carlos Hernandez. Present. Very good. Carlos Mauricio. Present. Very good. Edwin Antonio. Present, Gigi. Excellent. Elias Neftali. Okay. Eulise Torres. Um, his listener, all right. Um, let's see, Irma Evelyn. Present. Very good. 
Jose Salvador. Sentisha. Very good. Um, Josman Atilio. Okay. Kevin Alexander. Present. Very good. Kevin Alfredo. Present. All right. Maria Jose. Maria Jose. Okay. Nelson Alberto. Right. Oscar Alexis. Good teacher. Very good. Osman Enrique. Present teacher. Thank you. Pamela Carolina. Right. Rafael Alexander. Present. Okay, thank you. Ricardo Ernesto. Listener. Thank you. Cifrido Ernesto. Okay. Wilber Alberto. Uh, his listener, right? And Andrea Jamilet. Present. Thank you. Very good. Okay, guys. After this dynamic, let's go back on business. Okay. And this is the topic that we are going to study today. Re uh, review reported speech using imperatives. Because this is the last day for the unit number one, we are going to practice not only the um, reported speech with imperatives, but also with the affirmative and negative sentences, okay? So this is the class objective. Volunteer for reading, please. Me teacher. Thank you. Go ahead. At the end, at the end of the class, participants will we learn how to express comments, requests, advice, or suggestions using report speech imperative sentence sentence okay. sentences. Thank you. So remember, guys, as we talked about yesterday, we use imperatives basically all the time, right? So do you remember the imperatives? What are the characteristics of the imperatives? It's in present tense. Command. Okay, it's always in simple present. Mm -hmm. What else? Mm, they are orders. They are orders. And don't have subject. Very good. And they don't have a subject. Now, Something important, guys, and this was something that we mentioned yesterday, depending on the intention of the speaker, the meaning for the imperative can change. For example, if I say, open the door, is this an imperative? Yes. Yes, right? Look. Mm -hmm. Is in simple present, it doesn't have a subject, and is that an order, okay? But imagine that you are playing soccer <laughs> with your friends and suddenly you suffer an accident and you say, help me please, is this an imperative? Yes. Yes. Look, is it simple present? Yes. Does it have a subject? Not really. Now, we can think about here about the intention of the speaker. Is this person giving an order? No, no. it's not an order. It's not like an order. Right? This is more like asking for a favor. So, depending on the intention of the person. That's why when we are using the reported speech, we can use different verbs. Okay? Here, in open the door, because it's an order, what is a reported speech? For example, we can say, ah, he... Can I say he suggested or he uh, advised? Can we say that? Recommend. Recommend? No. 
Mm, but it's an order. Yes. So what would, in this case, the best option is to say he yes, asked. To open the door. Right? He asked. Uh -huh. What is the next? To open the door. That's the one. To open the door. Okay? So depending on the intention, we can use different verbs. We can use suggested, recommended, told me, he um, advised me. So we can use different verbs. Got it? Yes? Yes. Do we have imperatives in negative? What do you think? Yes. Yes. Can you give me some imperatives in negative? Don't talk. Don't talk? What else? Don't run. Don't run. Don't eat the fast food. <laughs> That's good. So imagine if I say, guys, don't speak in Spanish. <laughs> okay, what did you say? Uh -huh. To recommend us not to speak in, in Spanish. Okay, not to speak in Spanish. Look at this one. Very good. This is the way that we are going to report imperatives in negative. Okay? Again, look at this one. We can use different verbs depending on the intention of the speaker. Now, yesterday we were checking some structures. <clears throat> Sorry. Here I was explaining you to use different verbs and this is the structure. If it is affirmative, for example, give me the money, what is going to be the reported speech? Give me the money. She asked me. Asked me. Uh -huh. to, give, to give the money. Very good. And if it is in negative, don't answer the door while I'm away. Uh -huh. What is the report of the speech? He recommend not answer the door. Uh -huh. Look. In this yes. case, we can change the pronoun. We can say while he or while she was away. Pretty good job. So if it is affirmative, don't forget, we always use the verb in infinitive. If it is in negative, simple. Add the word not and the rest, always the verb in infinitive. That's the way that we can report the imperative sentences. Got it, everyone? Got it. Pretty good. Any questions so far about the imperatives? Not so far. Ready for the exam? Ready. <laughs> Only one says ready. Come on, guys. All right. Let's have a, a, a review about the topics that we studied yesterday. We were trying to give tips for successful businesses. So do you remember, guys, some of the tips that your classmates gave you? Can you tell me some of the tips you see in reported speech, please? Uh-huh. Think about your classmates. What did they say? What tips did they give you? Oh, you don't remember. Oh my God. <laughs> um, build trust to your customers. Again, can you repeat? Build trust to your customers. All right, build trust with your customers. What did he say, guys? Uh-huh. He said to build trust with the customer, our customer. Yes, pretty good job, pretty good job. Another one? 
Another tip, guys. I want to have a successful online business. If I don't have volunteers, I will be asking individually. Can you give me another tip? Oh my goodness. Okay, let me ask some people. Um, Let's see. Andrea, Andrea, can you give me a tip to have a successful online business, please? What do I need to do? Okay, I'm thinking. Um, maybe you can look for a free commission website. I don't know. Okay, look at that. Imagine the imperative. Look for a free commission free right commission free what commission free website yes okay what did she say guys repeat please okay look for commission free website she recommend us to look for commission free websites. That's the one. Very good. Very good. Yeah. All right. Maybe to give some tips for business is a little bit difficult. We are going to have a practice with some topics that could be a little bit easier. Now, we are going to review the reported speech using imperatives. So let's have um, some scenarios. I want you guys to tell me what to do, but using imperatives. I will share with you some scenarios. Tell me what to do, but using imperatives. I don't want you to use should. I don't want you to use, ah, you need to, mm -mm, only imperatives. For example, imagine the first scenario says, I want to quit smoking i don't want to continue smoking for example can you tell me guys some tips in order to quit smoking what do you think uh -huh. <laughs> what is it look for a hobby i don't know all right, that's a good one. Look for a hobby, right? Or you can look for some help. Talk to your friends. There are different tips. So what did she suggested or what did she advised me? What do you think? Maybe uh, she... She asked me. Hmm. But in this case, can I say ask? Because it's... Oh, she recommend. Ah, that sounds better. Uh -huh. uh, she recommend to look. Uh, I don't remember these sentences. <laughs> I'm sorry. I deleted, but I cannot remember. Uh, I recom she it was recommend to, to look. look for a hobby. She recommend me to look for a hobby. That is the yeah. one. She recommended and to look, to look to for a hobby. That's the one. Excellent. Another tip, guys. Mm. You can say tips in affirmatives or in negatives too. Reduce um the number of cigarettes that you smoke. Okay, reduce the numbers of cigarettes. Uh -huh, guys, what did she suggest? She suggested us, uh, uh -huh. she recommend us to reduce the number of cigarettes. That's the one, excellent. Okay, now I will be asking individually, I will pick two people, okay? And 
one of you will say the tip and the other person is going to say the reported speech. Um, let's see, I'm going to start with Oscar Alexis and Kevin Alfredo. Okay, Oscar, you will say the tip and Kevin, you will say the report the speech, okay? Uh, Alexis, can you read it? Uh, my girlfriend or boyfriend left me. What can I do? Uh huh. Um, I don't know. Give a tip. Find another girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Some it's, it's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my uh, goodness. He, he suggests me suggested me to look a new girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's good. Now switch. Kevin, give one tip. Oscar is going to say the reported speech. The same scenario. Oscar, uh -huh. um, go to the beach with your friends. <laughs> go to the beach with your friends. Uh huh. Oscar, what did he recommend you? Kevin recommend me go no. Kevin recommend me to go to the beach with my friends. <laughs> That's a long one. So recommended me. All right. Kevin recommended recommend me. me to go. Very good. Excellent, guys. Nice. Very good. Very good. Okay, let's continue. Cifrido and ta -da -da -da, Evelyn. Okay, let's see. Evelyn, you will say the tip. Cifrido, say please the reported speech. Go ahead. Invest the price, the price. The okay. Price. So imagine, guys, I won the lottery. So uh, what did she say, Sifrido? You recommend to me to invest the price. Very good. Now, Sifrido, give a tip, please. Do not forget to pay the taxes. <laughs> okay, Evelyn, what did he say? He recommended me uh, not, to not uh, forget the to pay the taxes. Mm, to... He recommended me not, not, don't forget to pay the taxes. I don't know, I enchivolated. <laughs> enchivolated, mm -hmm. that's a new word for me. All right, so let's try it again. Uh, he recommended he, he recommend me. me, he recommended me uh -huh. not forget to uh -huh. pay the taxes. All right. Look at this one. He recommended me not forget to pay the taxes. Actually, this is a good sentence. Evelyn is missing only one detail. What is missing here? Everyone? Two, not to forget. forget. Ah, this is the one. Not to forget. One of the most common uh, mistakes when we are reporting imperatives in negative is that we add the preposition to at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And we say, ah, he said to not to forget, um, but be careful, right? We don't need the preposition to at the beginning, only before the verb, okay? Got it? Pretty good. Excellent. Okay, next, let me ask um, to, 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 to Ana Lorena and Carlos Ernesto. Um, I don't know which one. Let's see here. Okay, look, Ana, I found a wallet with $10,000. Ana, give me a tip. What do I need to do? Maybe you are going uh, to uh -huh. try to find the owner. 
<laughs> That's a very honest um, tip. What? <laughs> <laughs> Can you repeat? Try to find the opener. So, Carlos, what did she suggested you? To try this, to try. Try to find the owner. So, she... Uh, she recommend me, recommended me. Uh-huh. Uh, the found the owner. All right. Infinitive. Don't forget the preposition to before the verb. Uh, she recommended me uh, to, to found uh -huh. to found uh, to found the owner. To find okay to found you to found or to find find to find to find. Ah, remember that found is in simple past. Past. past, and we need the verb in simple present. In this case, because I have the preposition to, that means infinitive. infinitive. Okay? okay? Very good. Now, Carlos, give me a tip. I found a wallet with $10,000 inside. Let's see. Um, maybe uh, do, do to make. Donate the donation. Mm, okay. So how do you say donation? Donation. Donation. Mm, maybe to uh, to do to do donation. Okay, do a donation. So um Lorena, what did he say? Uh, he suggests me uh, to do a donation. 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 <laughs> That's the one. Pretty good job, everyone. Excellent. So, easy or difficult, guys, to report the imperatives? So, so. So, so. Okay. And the rest of you guys, easy or difficult? So, so. 50-50. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Another one. Yeah. Um, let me ask to, uh, um, what happens is that I have a lot of listeners. Okay, uh, Kevin Alexander and Carlos Mauricio. All right, uh, Kevin, you give the tip. Carlos, you use a reported speech. Mm, let me try with this one. I have a cold. Uh huh. Give me a tip, please. Mm. <laughs> uh, I... uh huh. Um, take a hot bath. Take a hot bath. Okay. What did he say, Carlos? Um, he recommend me. To take a hot burnt. Very good. Now switch. Carlos, give me a tip. Um, search, search for your girlfriend. <laughs> mm. Is that going to help? <laughs> oh. mm. Remember I'm that. Sure, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe. Okay. What did he say, um, Kevin? Uh, he suggested me to search for my my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice and interesting tip. Now guys, give me tips in negative. What happens if I have a cold? Remember that cold is fever, sneezy, mm. sore throat, cough. Don't eat ice cream. Don't eat ice cream. What did he say guys? Uh -huh. um, he uh, recommends me uh, not to eat ice cream. Very good. Not to eat ice cream. That's the one. All right, everyone, let's stop there. Remember, just remember the structure. If it is in affirmative, 
we use the verb in infinitive. If it is in negative, we just need to add the word not. And then the structure is the same, verb in infinitive. So don't forget the preposition to. Any questions so far? Questions? No, no, no. no. All right. Ready for exam? Yes. <laughs> yeah, ready. An easy one. An easy one, of course. <laughs> um, we have a practice, everyone. This appears in your manuals. Remember that we are talking about tips to have a successful business. So I have here some famous entrepreneurs, right? They have their own companies and they will provide some tips if you want to have a very successful online business. So I have some tips here. I just want you guys to tell me what they, say, what they said using their reported speech. For example, the first one is Max Zuckerberg. He said, look at the tip. He said only to only hire people who you will work for. Ah, very good. Look. So remember that these are tips. We can use different verbs, suggest, um, advise, recommend. So in this case, Mark Zuckerberg advised to, okay? Don't forget that the verbs is in infinitive, to only hire people who you will work for. Pretty good. Now look at the second tip. Concentrate on the long term. What do you think, guys? What did he say? Very patient. Yes, to concentrate on the long term. Ah, very good. To concentrate on the long term. Pretty good job. Okay, volunteer. I want you someone please to read the tip number three. Me. Yes. Um, make user experience your competitive advantage by Aaron Willeby. What did he say, guys? Uh huh. Reported the speech. Aaron Levi recommend us to make user experience your competitive advantage. 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 Nice. Now, here we can change, right? If you see, we can change the pronoun. Instead of your, we can say our. 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 Because the tip is for number us. One. Volunteer, please, for reading the number four. Learn a lot really fast from doing things wrong. Thank you. Thank what you. did he say? Houston. Mm -hmm. Drew Houston. What did he say? Drew Houston said that uh, Drew Houston uh, recommend to learn a lot really fast from doing these things wrong. That's the one. Recommended to learn. Again, guys, look. Verb in infinitive. And as I mentioned before, we can use different uh, different verbs. We can use advised, suggested, recommended. But if you see, guys, all of them are in simple past because this is something that they said in the past. They are not saying it right now. It's something that they said in the past. That's why we need to use the verbs in past. Now, volunteer, please, for reading the number five. Focus on the customer, not the product. Tony Aishi? Sai. Sai. Okay, Sai. what did he say, guys? <laughs> Tony Sai um, reco uh, recommended, me, uh -huh. recommended us. And to focus on the customer, not the product. 
All right, that is the one. So he suggested us or he suggested me to focus on the customers, not the products. If you see guys, the first verb is the ones that we are going to use in infinitive. If you have more verbs, I mean, we just continue with the sentence as normal. And the last one, do you remember Jack Ma? Who is Jack Ma? Alibaba. Yes, he's the founder mm -hmm. of Alibaba website. Look at this one. He is saying, get used to rejection. What did he say? Jack Ma, Jack Ma. Okay. suggests to uh -huh. get used to rejection. Very good. That's the one. Excellent. So, guys, this is the way that we can use recommendations. We can give tips in imperatives. And then we can use the reported speech to repeat what the other person said. Understood? Okay. You see? Clear? Any questions so far? Okay. Remember guys, some of these exercise that we do here in the class that appears in the manual, also you can find it on the platform. So this is in order to help you to resolve some of the exercises. Now, we already practiced grammar. Let's try to practice speaking. In this speaking activity, guys, you are going to work in groups. And here, guys, you are going to take turns. I have here different situations. I have five situations over here. You have to tell your classmates one of these situations and your classmates will give you suggestions. Of course, the suggestions will be in imperatives. For example, Hey guys, I want to improve my English, but I don't have time to attend to regular classes. So can you give me some tips? No one has a make on. Which one? Can you repeat? Boris. Uh, uh, the microphone. Boris. Boris, your microphone. mic is on. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, my goodness, I, I feel like what's going on? <laughs> okay, uh -huh, guys, give me tips. Uh -huh. Hello? Oh, uh, you shoes, want tips? classes on weekend. Okay, that's a good one. What else? Remember, you can say affirmatives or negatives. Another one? Practice, practice the vocabulary. Yes, that's a good one. What else? Find a friend to practice. Mm -hmm. Watch movies in English. Sounds good. Now, when you are listening the tips that your classmates are giving to you, you can take note. Because later, when we come back to the main room, I will ask you and I will say, for example, Lorena, tell me what suggestions did your classmate provide in the scenario number one? Ah, so she, are, she will use a reported speech and she will say, ah, okay, they advised me to watch movies in English. Or if the sentence is in negative, right? Ah, uh, they suggested me not to be afraid to participate in the class, for example. Okay? So you have to listen to your classmates carefully and take note. Is it clear what you are going to yeah. do, everyone? Yeah. Yes? Yes. Okay, remember... Give suggestions in imperatives. You can say it in affirmatives or in negative. Take note. When we come back, you have to say what your classmates suggested 
and you have to use the report of the speech. Is it clear? Any questions yeah. before going to the practice? No questions? No. Okay, I'm going to send the scenarios on WhatsApp's group. Give me a second. All right, let's see, let's see. Okay, I already sent the scenarios on WhatsApp's group. We are going to go to the breakup rooms. Um, I know that there are some people that they are listeners. So if you are in a group where your classmates are not talking, please let me know so I can switch you to another team. Give me a second. Elias, are you here or are you listener? I'm sorry. Okay, I think that he's not here, okay. If, is there someone that is in the listener option but wants to participate, you can let me know so I can include you in the breaking rooms. Okay, everybody, are you ready? Yes, let's go to work. Yes. Okay, everybody, let's see. I can see Kevin, Salvador, and Josman. Okay, guys, let's start with the first scenario and provide tips. Okay, good start. The first scenario is you want to improve your English but you have a little time to attend regular classes. What tips you can give me? Um, for me, when sorry. Okay. Okay, it's about go. Oh, thank you. Uh, listen, listen to podcast. Okay, listen to podcast. What? What else? What else I can do to improve my English? Practice every day. That's a tip. <laughs> yeah, I need some more, a more practice. The English and the pronunciation, listener and grammar. And grammar, yeah. Uh, I recommend <laughs> you to watch movies and use subtitles in English or in Spanish if you want to get yeah. used to the pronunciation, I think. That's why I used to do um, see movies in English and uh, with subtitles in Spanish or in English if I already know the vocabulary that they are using. But it's not always, <laughs> it's not, I, mm -hmm. it's very, more frequent for me to use um, uh, English and the subtitles with with Spanish. Mm 
Yeah, in case of opinion, I practice the, for example, in watch the series and platform. I watch a listener in English and traduction and in equal idioms. Uh, this is the practice. Uh, more the last the listener. This is a the for the practice. Yes, because in English there are too many words at that sound. Um, save uh, the money on your bank bank account. Bank account. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Andrea suggests me to save. Uh, money on a bank uh, account. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe buy a house and car. Okay. So Lorena advised me to buy a house and a car. Yes. Okay. And the next one is. It's nearly summer and you have not yet decided where to go on your vacation. Maybe um, go to the um, go to the beach. Okay, uh, Andrea uh, recommended me uh, to go. To the beach. Okay. Um. And also to uh, also visit. Um. To the forest. Okay. To the forest. Okay. Uh. She suggested me to visit the forest. Yes. Okay, the next is you need to relax and rely the stress, but you don't know how. And the report speech will be uh, Carlos suggested us to watch movies in English. All right. Repeat, please. Um, Carlos recommended us to watch movies. Watch movies in English. In English. Okay. Um, and or maybe. Uh, To put uh, to put the the subtitles in English, mm. the movies. Put subtitles in English. So the reporting speech will be uh, Carlos Ernesto suggested to, us to us put subtitles in English. Uh -huh. Um, okay. Uh, number two. Got it, Edwin. Ah, okay, yes. Edwin. For okay. example, to practice uh, your speaking with your friends. Uh, the first one, Carlos Ernesto said, looking for an American friends. <laughs> and the other one was Put subtitles in English. In English. In my case, use your free time to practice. And the other one was watching movies in English. In English. And you said uh, try learn new vocabulary and listen audios to improve your listening. 
we 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 have six recommendation. Okay. We are ready, right? Okay. okay. Number two. Let's go to the main room. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Number two, this is your niece's birthday. She is 12 years old and you have no idea what to get her as a present. Ah, uh, it's your niece's. Ah. Uh. Mm, maybe uh, the, the girl did 12 years. Difficult. Um, mm. To give money. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, mm, mm, maybe uh, a gift and cell phone. No, a little, a little girl. <laughs> it's too much expensive. Yeah. Mm. What an idea. Um, can you repeat the the topic? Uh, it's your niece's niece's birthday. Ah, uh, it's birthday. Mm -hmm. She is twelve years old, mm -hmm. and you have no idea what to get her as a present. Mm -hmm. No idea. Mm -hmm. A gift. Ah. Uh... Mm, maybe uh, uh, K-pop CD. <laughs> I'll give a dress. Hmm. Maybe. Give a dress. Okay. It's maybe. Yes, I recommend this a little bit. In real estate. I recommend to invest in real estate. In real estate. Okay. In real estate. And Amanda. Amanda, what about you? I like to the real estate idea, but uh, for getting it's taken. A, it's it's I, taken. You can use it now. Yes, yeah, I know, but I have it. <laughs> I have <him. laughs> But I recommend to invest in let me see. And um oh, how do you say actions? No. You can say uh, action. In action of the enforcement, company. right? It's like, like Wall enforcement. Street. Like Wall Street. No. Uh, exactly. Amanda's... Like like Wall Street. Wall Street. Suggest uh, on a startup uh, project. So Amanda recommends um, to invest it in a startup. In... Yep. Project. Start up. Start up. Start. See, this, yes, nice. that's a nice one. Where, how do you spell a uh, start up? It's S T A R T. Start as an start e and up like up, up. like yeah. Up. Start up. 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 You invest on a startup. Startup. The startups are like the the new projects, startups, oh, okay. visions that someone Usually has with uh, technology and and artificial intelligence ideas. Yeah. So the last one, no, no, no. The first. What's the last one? No. It's nearly summer and you have not yet decided 
where to go on your vacations. What do you suggest to me? I, I can suggest stay, stay home. At home. <laughs> <laughs> I want to rest. <laughs> and then save some money to go on vacation when nobody is in vacations. You yeah, will enjoy it a good. lot. <laughs> Yes, or maybe in a private Airbnb. Yeah, it could be, but in vacation time, in the price are too high, or yes. by the highest price. So not at all, and you can rest in a different place. Yeah, it could far be. away of the town, of the noises. Far away of the job. Not so a luxury <laughs> Airbnb, but. <laughs> So it's nearly so many. Well, well, I, I one one by one. Yeah, Sifrido, is that you? Sifrido. Sifrido <laughs> um, suggest me. To stay at home and save okay. the money. Suggest me. To no, stay home. That, that was mine. Stay home and save money. That was mine. <laughs> oh, I, I'm going shame. to change the now the name, right? Sifrido. <laughs> Sifrido recommends and... to not go to vacations on vacations time. That was the recommendation. <laughs> right? It's like uh... <laughs> teacher is laughing. <laughs> to say it. No to go maybe um away of the holidays or uh -huh. maybe in an in a regular weekend. In a regular weekend, yeah. I think there is a word to say that it's like like the traffic but the, of the story. Hike picks or something like that. Think free or you, you are agree with the Low season, guys. Low oh, season, yeah. high season. High season is in holidays, right? So you can say, don't go on high season or in affirmative, go during the low season. Go to um, thank you. Low this is the one. excellent okay. word I'm looking for. Low season, okay. That, that's a point for me, okay? <laughs> yeah, yes, we we are going to give you a hand a one hundred dollars. <laughs> okay, thanks. Just let me know when, okay? <laughs> I need it now. <laughs> oh my gosh, that sounds good. <laughs> but please say it on February. Good luck, Kevin. Minutes, please. So Kevin, it's your turn. Uh, well, uh, maybe you can go. No, maybe no. Um, go, uh -huh, uh -huh. go to other country. Go to okay. to Barcelona. Go to the church. Go to see the church. The church in on Barcelona. Okay. You Amanda? Uh, Amanda. find a, a good price Airbnb. A good price Airbnb. Uh, okay. On downtown. Downtown? Yeah. Amanda, recommend me to Airbnb. go. To, so uh, the last one, the five good. one, no, 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 five. You need to relax. All right, time's up. Let's go back. I hope you gave a lot of tips. All right. Let's wait for your classmates. Some of your classmates are still in the breaking rooms. Let's wait for them. Time's up, everyone. 
I was listening to very interesting tips. <laughs> All right. Guys, be careful with the tips that you give. <laughs> All right. Some of them are a bit dangerous. <laughs> I was listening to so kind of tips, so be careful, right? And if the tip is bad, everybody, please don't do it, <laughs> okay? Nice. Well, let's wait for your classmates. Let's see, let's see. Okay, everyone. Did your classmates give a lot of tips? Yes. Yes? It was funny. <laughs> Yeah, some of the it tips were be. pretty funny. Did your classmate use a imperatives in affirmative and in negative? Yes? No. Really Only negative. in affirmative. <laughs> Just yeah. affirmative. Only yeah. affirmative. Cut <laughs> in negative, teacher. In negative, okay. All right, I, I can listen. Uh, uh, Kevin, what do you say? I listen, Kevin Alexander, I guess, but I didn't listen to your microphone. I said that we are really positive people. Yes. <laughs> but That's why we are only absolutely. giving uh, affirmative tips. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but tried. I was listening in one team. Actually, I was listening to some negative tips too, but everybody try, okay? We need to try both structures. Now, did your classmates speak in Spanish? No. No, right? No. Never, okay. And did you take note of the tips yeah. that your classmates say? For yeah. Sure. No. No. <laughs> uh -huh. But you memorize it, right? Sure. Absolutely. Let me see. She has if it a is... a, um, photographic memory. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's see if it is true. I'm going to start with them. Okay, yes, I was listening in the team number one. It was Lorena, it was Andrea, and Boris. Okay, girls and boy, imagine uh, Lorena, the scenario number one, if you want to improve your English, what are the tips that Andrea and Boris uh, gave you? <laughs> uh, uh, Andrea recommended me uh, to practice with my friends okay that's a good tip all right andrea um imagine that you won a uh, five hundred thousand dollars in the lottery so can you tell me the uh, tips that lorena or body suggested you okay lorena advised me to uh buy a house and a car Mm, okay, sounds like a good plan. Okay, did Boris participate or he was listener? He was. He listener. was listener. Ah, okay, all right. Nice, interesting tips. Thank you, girls. Let's move on to the tip number two. Team number two, I have Carlos, Mauricio, Carlos, Ernesto, and Edwin. Okay, Carlos, Ernesto, it's your niece's birthday. So she is 12 years old. What kind of presents should you give her? Can you tell me the suggestions that your classmates give you? Mm, um, give her a beautiful dress. <laughs> <laughs> okay, remember the full sentence. He suggested me. Ah, okay, okay, I understand you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, he's uh, he suggested me. She suggested me uh, to give to give her to give her a beautiful dress. A beautiful dress. Yeah, hey, that sounds good. Sounds good. Carlos Mauricio. Um, let me see. It's well the same question. A present for your niece. What did your classmate suggest? Um, 
Edwin recommended me uh, to give her an envelope, envelope gift. Ah, how much? Uh, just envelope gift. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Edwin, the next scenario, yes. Edwin, if you won the lottery, can you tell me what suggestions your classmate provided? So, Carlos recommended to buy a house. To buy the house? Which Carlos, Ernesto or Mauricio? Oh, Mauricio. Remember, we are talking about yeah. the gifts to the niece. <laughs> No, about oh, the no, money. no. For for Edwin is the next scenario. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, yes. And what about Carlos Ernesto, Edwin? What did he suggest? If you want so, the lottery. Uh, Carlos uh, Ernesto suggested to give present to the family. Ah, very generous. Okay, pretty good. Thank you, boys. Okay, so far so good, guys. I like the tips and I like the way that you are reporting them. Nice job, nice job. Let's continue. In the team number three, it was Salvador, Posman Atilio, and Kevin Alexander. Okay, let me start with Salvador. Um, let's see, Salvador, imagine that you need to relax, okay? But you don't know how to relax. Can you tell me the suggestions that your classmates give you? He suggests me uh, to take a uh, coffee. To take coffee, <laughs> really? That's a nice really? tip. Very good, very good. Okay, let's see. Cosman Atilio. Um, it's nearly summer and you don't know where to go on vacations. Tell me, what did your classmate suggest? I agree to the beach and Um, I'm sorry, Cosman, you are breaking up. Can you repeat again? Look. Okay, sorry. Uh, uh, I go to the Biratan in, in Honduras. Ah, no. it's not dangerous there. A little bit. <laughs> well, okay. Sounds like a good plan. Sounds good. Okay, and. Kevin Alexander, it's your niece's birthday, so she's 12 years old. What did your classmate suggest to give her for a gift? Um, they suggest me to take her to a dinner. Ah, to take her to a dinner? That's a good tip. Which restaurant? Mm, they don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, thank you, boys. Nice. Okay, let's continue with the team number four. In the team number four, I listened to Cifrido, Oscar, Kevin, and I listened to Amanda too. All right. So let's start with Cifrido. Cifrido, um, it's nearly summer, so you don't have decided where to go on vacation. Where did your classmates suggest or what did they say? For example, Amanda suggested us to rent an Airbnb and rest. Okay, sounds good, sounds good. How much is it? Do you have any idea? Not really. Okay, that's good. $60. How much? $60. Oh, okay. It depends, right? The type of place that you're looking for. Okay. Now, Amanda, tell me, it's um you need to relax. So what did they say? What did they uh, suggest? Um uh, Oscar suggested us uh, um, 
take to take a massage. Mm, okay, sounds like a good plan. All right. Let's see, Kevin, Alfredo. Um, imagine that you just won the lottery. What did your classmate suggest? They suggest me, well, they know. Uh, Amanda suggest me buy to Julie? buy to buy a Barbie house, but I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and Sinfrido and Oscar recommend me to buy a luxury house. <laughs> and which one do you prefer? I want the luxury house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sounds good. Sounds good. It's okay. They are the rich uncles. <laughs> ah. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, let's see. Oscar, um, let's see. Is your niece's birthday? You don't know how what to give her. So what did your classmate suggest? Um Sifrido recommend us to give her money. Kevin okay. recommend us to give to give her a tablet and Amanda says that she prefers to give a gift card or a new outfit. Sounds good, sounds good. So if you give her money, how much? I don't know. Uh, Cifrido Cifrido, said that. Cifrido, Cifrido we we was not Cifrido. agree with him. One, one dollar. What? <laughs> It was your kid. For, for a mangoneada. <laughs> a mangoneada, well, right. Some years ago, one dollar was a lot of money, guys, especially yes. for a kid. <laughs> okay, pretty good job, guys. Excellent tips. Excellent reported speech. Nice. Easy or difficult? Uh huh. 50-50? 50-50. <laughs> Okay, but you are doing great. Excellent. I congratulate to all of you guys. You are doing such a beautiful job. Excellent. And remember, the more you practice, the more that you will understand and keep in mind this topic. Now, we already practice speaking. We already practice a little grammar. What's next? What do we need to practice right now? What do you think? Listen. Oh, rest. Ah, rest. Come on. No, Lorena is right. We are going to practice. Listening. So everybody, wake up, wake up. Okay. In this listening practice, guys, um, imagine that there is a meeting. Okay. There is a meeting with the managers of a company. And they are discussing how to increase sales okay, in their new program. Now, you are going to listen to different suggestions, okay, but not all the suggestions were accepted. Pay attention to the audio and you have to click or check in the suggestions that you consider were accepted. For example, the first tip is, Increase spending on newspaper advertising. If you consider that they accepted that a tip, okay, click or check. But if the tip was not accepted, okay, don't check. Got it? Is it clear what you need to do? Yes. Okay, you yes. just listen. You are going to listen to all of those suggestions, but you just have to check the suggestions that were accepted. Okay, so guys, in order to avoid interferences during the audio, I need you to keep your microphones off. If you don't listen to the audio, please let me know so I can play it again. You can answer in your notebooks. And then we are going to verify if your answers are correct or not. All right, here we go, everybody. Microphones off. Microphones off. Okay, pay a lot of attention, please. 
Okay, as you all know, our new management training programs aren't selling as well as we'd been hoping. I realize that the economic climate isn't too favorable, but I still expect sales to be higher than they are. So, are there any ways we could support our current sales and telemarketing activities? Perhaps we could try increasing our newspaper advertising expenditure. Maybe that'll work. I'm not sure about that. Advertising in newspapers doesn't work that well for the type of business-to-business -business service that we provide. We've already tried placing ads in the business sections of several local papers, and it hasn't been very productive. I have a suggestion. We've never tried advertising on the radio or on local television. Maybe we could try that. I'm afraid that's out of the question. Advertising on television and radio is hugely expensive, and it would be highly unproductive for us. We don't have the budget for it anyway. Okay, but we could try one of the local radio news stations. A lot of their listeners are business people. We could buy a slot during a local business news broadcast that's appropriate for our line of work. That might work. Hmm, I guess we could try that. What about putting a full-page ad in that new HR trade journal, HR Ideas? Oh yes, good idea. But I'm not sure about a full page, though. We could start with something smaller and see what sort of impact it has. Any other ideas? Why don't we focus more on PR activities? The consultancy firm I worked for a few years ago hired a PR firm and they managed to generate a lot of useful publicity. I remember we had potential customers calling us all the time. I think I still have a few contacts within the company. That sounds very interesting. Do you remember what sort of fees they charged? It wasn't too expensive as I remember. I'll try to find out and get back to you on that later today. Great. So John, you contact HR Ideas and get some information on their prices for different sized ads. Marta, if you could also contact the local radio stations and email me some details, that would be great. We'll schedule another meeting to discuss the next step. All right, everybody, could you listen to the audio? Yes. Yes. Did you get the answers or do you want to listen it to one more time? I think I had to listen one more time. Yes. All right, no problem. Microphones off, please. I'm going to play the audio again. Remember, you just have to choose those suggestions that were accepted. All right, microphones, here we go again. All right, give me a second. I'm having issues to play it. One moment, please. Um, I'm sorry, can you see what I'm sharing, everyone? No, okay. Yes? No? No. No, teacher. No. Oh, my gosh. Um, how about now? Can you see it? Yes. 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 Now here. yes. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, microphones. Here we go again. Okay, as you all know, our new management training programs aren't selling as well as we'd been hoping. I realize that the economic climate isn't too favorable, but I still expect sales to be higher than they are. So, are there any ways we could support our current sales and telemarketing activities? Perhaps we could try increasing our newspaper advertising expenditure. Maybe that'll work. I'm not sure about that. Advertising in newspapers doesn't work that well for the type of business-to-business -business service that we provide. We've already tried placing ads in the business sections of several local papers, and it hasn't been very productive. I have a suggestion. We've never tried advertising on the radio or on local television. Maybe we could try that. I'm afraid that's out of the question. Advertising on television and radio is hugely expensive, and it would be highly unproductive for us. We don't have the budget for it anyway. Okay, but we could try one of the local radio news stations. A lot of their listeners are business people. We could buy a slot during a local business news broadcast that's appropriate for our line of work. That might work. Hmm, I guess we could try that. What about putting a full-page ad in that new HR trade journal, HR Ideas? Oh yes, good idea. But I'm not sure about a full page, though. We could start with something smaller and see what sort of impact it has. Any other ideas? 
why don't we focus more on PR activities? The consultancy firm I worked for a few years ago hired a PR firm and they managed to generate a lot of useful publicity. I remember we had potential customers calling us all the time. I think I still have a few contacts within the company. That sounds very interesting. Do you remember what sort of fees they charged? It wasn't too expensive as I remember. I'll try to find out and get back to you on that later today. Great. So John, you contact HR Ideas and get some information on their prices for different sized ads. Marta, if you could also contact the local radio stations and email me some details, that would be great. We'll schedule another meeting to discuss the next step. All right, everybody, do you have the answers? Yes. Yes, everyone? Yes, yes I believe. <laughs> okay, we have different yes. suggestions. Okay, let's find out if you have the correct answers. The first T, what did, what did she suggest? Uh, it's not accepted. The screens is spending on newspaper advertising. Okay, that was the first one. Increase spending in newspaper advertising. So it was accepted or not? No. Was no. no. That's a... Not really, right? Why? Mm, because they have tried expensive. before. They had tried before and yes. uh, it wasn't so productive. Mm -hmm. It was kind and of it's expensive, expensive. Right? So yeah. All right. The next one, advertising on television. Not accepted. No. Not accepted. Not accepted. Too expensive. Ah, and what? unproductive. Exactly. Yeah, too expensive. They don't have the budget. That's correct. Pretty good. Okay, the next one, advertising on the radio, but on local radio news stations. It was accepted. Yes. This was a good option. How about advertising in a new HR trade journal? Remember the trade journal? This one is like a magazine. Okay. So what did mm -hmm. they say? They, accept they, they say yes, they will try to. They are accepted and they accepted. want to get an offer. Okay. Ah, but um, did they. The smaller. Ah, a, smaller a huge one. page or a huge page or a small part? Oh, a small he, he don't consider it for page. Exactly. So in this case, they will accept. I mean, they accepted it, but not the huge page. They say that they will start with a small part in the magazine, and they will find out if it works or not. Okay, focus on PR activities. Do you know what is the meaning, guys, for the PR? No, no, no. no. Public... HR neither. Public okay. Relationships. Okay, in the HR trade journal, that is the name of the magazine, all right? And the PR is like public relations. Relations. So basically, we are talking about publicity, okay? <laughs> so focus on publicity activities. Accepted or not? It was accepted. Yes. It was accepted. Yes, it was accepted. Was was it expensive or not? They don't know. Ah, very good. They will they request the price. They will talk, right? They will search for the contacts and well, they will find out if it is expensive or not. Easy or difficult the audio? Easy. How Easy. many correct answers did you have? All of them. All of them. Ah, very good job, everyone. Excellent. Now, everybody, before continue, um, I'm going to check attendance again. When you listen to your names, say present. Amanda Zamora. Present. Okay. Ana Lorena. Present, teacher. Thank you. Boris Alexander. Present. All right, Carlos Alberto. Carlos Ernesto. Present. Okay, Carlos Mauricio. Present. Very good. Edwin Antonio. Present, teacher. All right, Elias Neftalin. 
Um, Eulise Torres, well, his listener. Irma Evelyn. Um, she was connected, but I don't know if she had any trouble. Yeah, I think maybe the connection didn't work, but well. Um, Jose Salvador. Present teacher. Thank you. Osman Atilio. Teacher. All right, all right. Kevin Alexander. Present. Okay. Kevin Alfredo. Present. Thank you. Maria Jose. Nelson Alberto. Oh, his listener. Oscar Alexis. Here, teacher. Thank you. Osman Enrique. Present, teacher. Thank you. Pamela Carolina. Rafael Alexander. Ricardo. Present. Okay, thank you. Ricardo Ernesto. Cifrido. Thank you. Cifrido Ernesto. Present, teacher. All right. Wilber Alberto. Andrea Jamilet. Present. Very good. All right. Now, guys, in order to finish with the practice that we had for the reported speech, we already practiced how to report in the imperative way. Now, do you remember in the previous classes, in the first classes, we studied the affirmative and negative sentences for the reported speech? Do you remember that? Yes, a little bit. Remember the two rules? These sentences are not imperatives anymore. Remember that these are the sentences, the common sentences. For example, look at this one. Um, I feel hungry. Is this sentence an imperative? Is this an imperative? No, teacher. No. Not really, oh. right? If you see, this is a normal sentence. When I have a normal sentence, like the typical sentence, remember the rules. What do I need to do? Change the pronoun. We need to change the pronoun and change, change the verb. The verb. The verb. Past. We need to change the verb in past. For example, I feel hungry. What did he say? Tom said, Tom said, he Tom said, said that he felt hungry. That's the one. So I have some sentences here. For example, we don't travel much. What is the reported speech here? He said that we didn't travel didn't. much. Okay. Remember that the word that is optional. That, if I'm talking about we, we don't travel much. They didn't travel much. Ah, they, can I say don't? Didn't. 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 Ah, didn't. Remember, we need to change it into the past. So, they didn't travel much. Now, look at this one. When the sentence is affirmative or negative, we change the pronoun and we change the verb or the auxiliary into the past. And the word that is optional. Another one, John doesn't live in Japan anymore. What did she say? This. Uh -huh. She said that John that John is a proper name. We don't need to change it. That John didn't live in Japan anymore. Ah, didn't, because we need to change it into the past. Didn't live in, in Japan anymore. Pretty good. Look at the next one. They work in Hong Kong. Hmm, what did she say? She told me Probably. that they worked, worked in Hong Kong. 
In Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. Very good. Look, we change the pronoun only when it is necessary, but the verb is always in past. Next one. Um, I have to work until seven. Hmm, what did she say? She said she that, said that she, she, had she had to work uh -huh. until, until seven, seven or, seven or eight, 8 p.m. PM every, every, night. Day, every night. Every night. And the last one, I don't want to go to the theater. She said that he didn't, she want, didn't want to go to, Dad, the go to the theater. In this case, if I'm talking about she, we can say she or he, right? Didn't want to go to the theater. Very good. Theater next, next week. week. Next week. So that is the difference when we report infinitives or, well, in this case, imperatives or the sentences in affirmative and in negative. Remember, in this case, we have a subject. Is it clear? Everybody? Yes. Yes. Any questions? No. Okay. Well, because you don't have questions, guys. <laughs> oh it's my time. God. Surprise. I feel, I, I'm busy one, please. <laughs> this is, uh, I changed my mind. I had a lot of questions. <laughs> it, is yeah. a, it's, it is not a good uh, surprise. <laughs> It is. Come on. <laughs> okay, listen, it's very short. Nothing to be afraid of. In this quiz, guys, the first things that you need to do, again, is to write your full names. Full names, not only one name, not only a last name, full names, okay? And I have some sentences, okay? It's pretty short. The first part, guys, you need to change the direct speech into the reported speech. All of the sentences will start with she said. For example, in the first one, you have to write she said, and then it says, I live in New York. So is this an imperative, yes or no? No. 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 So you have to write it as in the previous example. Now, if you want, you can write the word that, or not. It's up to you. So write the full sentence, and at the end, add the final dot, okay? Please. Okay. And, well, this is the first part. Is it clear? Yes. And in the second part, is the same, but here, if I say come early, is that an imperative? Yes. Yes. So in the second part, you will start your sentences with, she asked me, all of the sentences. So you can say, okay, she asked me, and you continue writing the reported speech, final dot at the end. Okay? I see the simple guy, like that. When you finish, click in send, and automatically you will see if your sentences are correct or not. It's a pretty short exam, nothing to be afraid of. This guys is just in order to under to see if you understood the topic. I'm sending the link here in the chat and also I'm going to send it on WhatsApp's group. So go ahead guys, open up the link and let's start this quiz, this surprise with all my love for you. <laughs> it's pretty easy, guys. Nothing to be afraid of. Be careful with the spelling because if one letter is wrong, the answer will consider wrong. Don't forget to add a point at the end of the sentence. Okay. If you have a question, just let me know, please.
If you have questions, let me know. Read carefully, please. Zero from ten, teacher. <laughs> All right. Let me see. I can see some people already finished and already send it. Well, three people, actually. Teacher, we need a comma. Uh, I forgot the point. All the right. Dot. Listen, listen to me. Um, The website accepts a specific answer but you can read the sentences. If the reason why you didn't get the point is just because you didn't add the point, I mean, there's no problem at all. Just pay attention. If you write it correctly, it's okay, all right? So if you don't add the point, it's going to be incorrect, but you just need to read the answers. All right, I can see so far so good. Remember, guys, to change the verb into the past. I can see that that is going to affect in some of you. Um, teacher Clarissa, I, uh, I have a question. Yes. Um, in the second page, you said that we have to use she asked me. Um, but in the third, um, third uh, question question uh that that don't open it sounds like a command like um she's not ask, asking me i know what happens guys is that i decided to write 
uh, she asked me in all of the sentences in order to be easier for you. So mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's the reason. All right, okay. listen, everybody, I can see six people already send the answers, but we don't have more time. So if you haven't finished, you can continue in the end of the class or you can continue tomorrow, but try to finish it because I want to see how much you understood the topic. Now, before leaving, as always, we have a winner for tonight and the winner is Carlos Ernesto. So, Carlos, you have to stay. The rest of you guys, you yeah. are free to go to sleep. Have a wonderful night. Don't forget to send the answers of the quiz. Okay? okay See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Take care. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Only Carlos stays. Goodbye, everyone. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care. All right. Hello, Carlos. How are you? I, I cannot hear you. Microphone. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, yesterday I was a doctor. A doctor. Uh, oh my god. Yeah. Um, I saw the how do you say muela? Tooth. Tooth. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, he inter interviews my tooth. Oh my God! In, uh, oh, today in the evening, a lot of pain. Oh, oh my gosh! Yeah. I imagine that. In the Friday, I have the second session. Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> well, <laughs> let's be strong. Let's try to resist. And when you speak. Do you feel pain when you speak? Uh, uh, no, I don't have problem. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, yeah, because yeah. Uh, I was the listener. Yeah, I know, uh, I know. You told uh, me. Me pulsaba. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how to say it, but you you felt mm -hmm. a lot of pain. A lot of pain. Yeah, I I. I I, I took this medicine. Mm -hmm. but, okay. Mm. But it was painful anyway. I know. I know how it feels. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, um, but let's be um let's have this meeting, you know, that is just to clarify some questions that you may have. I know that the topics that we are starting are a little bit difficult, right? It's because we are in the intermediate five. So do you have any yeah. questions so far about the topics? Uh, the question really no, but I be, began or start uh, the difficult in this level five. I uh, know. For example, uh, today, uh, yesterday, I was a uh, light listener. Today, mm -hmm. I was reviewing the video mm -hmm. for the reason it's difficult, <laughs> well, a little difficult, uh, uh, at least for me. I know, and not just for you. I think that's for everyone. This topic is complicated, but it's something nice that you review the classes. That's a good idea. Um, every time that you are a listener, you can try to review the class before the next day so you can understand better the topic. Um, I have positive feedback for you. Even when the topic is difficult, you always try to participate. So that is something good. Excellent. Also, something positive is that I can see that you already finished the unit number one. So that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday I finished. 
Finish. Nice, excellent. So that is great. Remember that the more you practice, the more that you are going to learn. All right. Yes, I for me, uh, I think uh, I need more practice and the speaker, mm -hmm. the listener. Definitely. All right. So don't worry because we are going to have those practices here in the class every single day. But if you can practice in your free time, you can search some uh, websites. We have internet. So if you need to practice listening, you can write on Google practice exercises listening in English. And you will find a lot of exercises that you can practice with. Okay? okay. Very okay. good. All right. Uh, I don't know if you have any other question or comment, doubt. Mm -hmm. Mm, do you know the next level is the you? I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah, what happens is that um, they always inform us which level we are going to have until we have uh, when, for example, if the level is going to start on Monday, they inform me which group I will have on the weekend. So... I don't know in advance. No me avisan así como con mucha anticipación qué, qué grupo voy a tener. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. uh, I, I have a document. Uh -huh. uh, for example, uh, the first, the first September. Ajá. Uh -huh. um, I'm going to travel the USA. Ah, uh, sounds good. But come back uh, three, uh, three, September. Ah, okay. And so, is um, uh, I think, uh, is is um, a lot of probable probably, uh, the the Friday Friday is is first. first. Yes. Um, I will be. Um, well, I listen. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I don't know it's, uh, Monday and Tuesday. Ah, okay. Well, let's try. Try to connect at least as listener if you can, right? If not, I'm going to, uh, I mean, I will have the comment. At least you already told me. So we will be um, already know that information. So try at least to connect as listener. Try to do it. If not, well, anyway, no problem. So okay. I just want you to have a nice trip. <laughs> okay, thank you. Excellent. Okay, Ernesto, we are going to stop right here. Thank you so much for staying. Keep going, keep practicing. You are doing a good job, all right? All right. Very good. Good night and see good you tomorrow. Night. Same to you.